Hey budget fam, it's Jordan from Jordan Budgets. Today we are recash stuffing our sinking funds and savings challenges. If you are part of the budget fam, thank you so much for returning. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much. I want to say that we just hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. I did not think that we would hit this amount of subscribers as quickly as we did. I am so appreciative of you guys. You guys know I get to make my full-time income off of Etsy and YouTube. I'm eternally grateful to those of you guys that watch my videos, you watch my ads, you support me on Etsy. Thank you so much for the dream that is my life right now. Things would not be this way if it weren't for you guys supporting me and loving me along this journey. So thank you so much. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Jordan. We do a lot of cash stuffing. We do a lot of budgeting. We talk about how I make money on Etsy and YouTube. We're starting to do a little bit of day in the life and some other things now that we are doing a video every single day. We would love to have you as part of our budget fam if you would like to subscribe to us. One last little thing, if you were one of the giveaway winners for the 19,000 subscribers, I have not mailed those out yet. I will be going through emails this week. Y'all know I just moved from the apartment to the house. I was finishing all that up these last few days, so it's been a little bit hectic over here. But I will get back to you guys an email though very, very soon. Sorry about the delay. As far as the 20,000 subscriber giveaway goes, I think I'm gonna do another freebie for everybody that will be on the website. Stay in touch for that. Okay, so now that that is out of the way, let's get into this cash stuffing. Normally, I would be stuffing the bills binder during this video on Monday. We have already paid all of the bills for June, so I did pull all of that. If you watched the last video that I uploaded on Friday, we added some bills categories. So next Monday, you will see me restuffing some new things as we say for July's bills, but this is all empty right now because all of those bills have been paid. It is May 30th right now, and we've already paid all of June's bills. So that's why we do the budget binder just to keep us a step ahead. Typically during this video, I would also be stuffing the groceries, gas, and fast food. We are gonna try no fast food this week, but I did already buy groceries and gas for this coming week, like this weekend, just because I did not want to stuff this binder or worry about this binder at all this week. The only other thing I need to mention before we start stuffing this money is that there is still a an emergency binder. We did not pull any money from this binder. This money is all still in here, so all of these trackers are still accurate. I did not want to pull any of the money like I did from these binders. If you missed Friday's video, go watch that. Basically, I just pulled all the money from the sinking funds and savings challenges, but I did leave this emergency binder alone. So that covers those three binders, which is what we would normally be stuffing in a Monday video. So I did want to explain myself there. Long story short, we basically pulled all of the cards and all of the money from the two sinking funds and savings challenge binders. The reason for that is because when I moved out of the apartment and into the house, there were a lot of bills that basically all the bills I had to pay double. There was also a bunch of fees for moving into the house and out of the apartment. So we needed to pull some of the money that was in the bank, accumulating for the sinking funds and savings challenges. So these trackers are no longer accurate. So just to make everything accurate, basically I pulled, I pulled money. Okay. And you guys know, I like to reshuffle categories every Every couple months just to keep myself sort of focused and make sure I'm saving for things that motivate me. These are categories we have done away with. Picture day, new clothes, we did away with that category because we did buy a bunch of new clothes for the boys recently and I think tomorrow I'm going to share that haul with you guys. Glasses, we're doing away with that card because I did just buy my youngest son new glasses. That's who I was saving for. I pulled the camping card because I don't think we're realistically going to be able to fit in another camping trip. I love what one of you guys mentioned though was that we should do a backyard camping thing and I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I wouldn't have to save for that. There should be no extra expenses because I could just use our weekly grocery money to buy like s'mores and some of the fun things. We already have all of our camping gear. So I think we will do a backyard camping trip. I think that is genius just to kind of get that whole camping experience with the boys because I know they will love that and it will be so much less work on my part. And of course, it's gonna be cheaper. Roll the change challenge. I think this is a genius savings challenge if I do say so myself. If you're new here, I created this challenge. So um, that's a little awkward. But anyway, I am not using it though. My kids take all of my change. So realistically, I'm finding I'm just not using it. I still think it's a fun idea. 
I just didn't end up using it. So all of those cards are going away for now. These are cards that we are keeping. So we just have to decide, I guess, like what is what we're keeping that's accurate versus what cards we need to restart. I'm going to start with the 100 envelope savings challenge because I think if we only have one binder, I want it to be this dark blue one. So let's go ahead and start here. So the 100 envelope savings challenge, this is a card that we are for sure keeping accurate as to what it was. So I did count up what all is colored in. It totals $2,005. We do have this is placeholder money. This just represents money that is in the bank. Okay, let's find. So here's a thousand dollar placeholder and then the 500 placeholder. So this is money that is in the bank. I just keep the placeholders here. Help remind me what that money in the bank is for. So we do have 1500 in the bank. So we need to add another $505 to keep this tracker accurate. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put placeholder money in here because since we're making a bank trip soon anyway, we might as well. I'm still going to count out $500 to put into the bank. So if you see me switching out any real money for placeholder money, that's just I'm taking that money to, to the bank. I'm still keeping the trackers accurate. 50, 150, 200, 50, 300, 50, 400, 50, 500. So this 500 is going to the bank. Let's make a little stack over here. That is money that is going to the bank. There's also some placeholder money in case we want to exchange some some real money for placeholders let's not get all this confused though this is still money that we have that can get stuffed okay I hope this isn't getting confusing if it is I'm sorry leave a comment I will explain myself basically though two thousand dollars in the bank because some of it we are taking to the bank and then five dollars so this is still accurate. I really wanted to keep this accurate because one, a lot of you guys give tips and the tip money goes into this. And because this is sort of a big priority, it's not something more fun like pictures or a phone or something like that. This is saving for a car down payment or a house down payment, whatever need comes up first. Back to school. So I was thinking we would end up keeping this one as a high priority. I think we are actually going to completely restart back to school though. My reason being, is that we were saving for $528. We had a, like a couple hundred or maybe a few hundred dollars, but y'all know I got new clothes for the boys and a lot of that is going to be their back to school clothes. So I don't think for just school supplies, we need the full $528. We will restart this. We might stuff some in it today, but if we don't, it's okay. Cause the only thing for back to school that they should need is going to be like the backpack, the school supplies, that kind of stuff. And that is not going to be a full five hundred dollars the reason I was saving five hundred is because I knew we would need at least a couple hundred dollars in clothes and I just bought them a ton of clothes legacy we are gonna go ahead and put one hundred dollars into legacy let's see 20 40 60 80 100 this is saving for for donations so I wanted to make sure we put money back into that donation spot so we put a hundred dollars in here let's put this Let's put this back here. I should have organized the cards beforehand on like how I wanted it to, to sit in the binder. Let me do that now. Okay, so I've kind of organized how I think I want this to go. We did put legacy back here. So $100 went in there. 100 envelope savings challenge. Okay, so 100, we'll do back to school next. And then after back to school, we're going to put birthday. Birthday is what's going to come up right after going back to school. For birthday, let's go ahead and put $300 in here because my boy's birthday is going to be here before you know it. Their birthdays are at the end of August, start of September. So let's put $300 in to make sure we are at a good spot and have a good jumping board for making sure their birthdays are funded. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. So $300 to birthday, instead of stuffing the money in here, we're going to bring it to the bank and one, two, three. So we have $300 in placeholder money going towards happy birthday. After birthday, we have Christmas. I actually think though we are going to restart the Christmas tracker really just because I basically ended up pulling a lot of this Christmas money to put towards birthdays. Birthdays is what's coming up next. So I think it's just what needs to happen. And then after we fund birthdays, we can really start worrying about Christmas. Next is new phone. 
new phone is also getting replaced you guys know i i hate to do this because we did have new phone fully stuffed we ended up needing some of our money just to move into this house so new phone is kind of just it's gonna have to restart it's just the way it goes sorry to new phone summer camps let's keep this one as a priority and make sure we stuff 165 back into this this is saving for next summer summer camps but it's going to be so expensive so i want to make sure this money stays accurate two four six eight one hundred twenty forty sixty five so we have 165 which is what's on this tracker so let's put this in here and then whatever money is left we are going to go back and restuff some of these categories there's just some categories that i've decided is most important so that's why we're going ahead and stuffing those now next is sports let's just go ahead and put this here this is a new category or category that we are bringing back because my oldest son enjoyed team sports so much gifts Let's go ahead and put a $20 into this gifts category. This is for other kids, birthday parties, birthday presents. And then same train of thought is snack duty. I think we had 20. Yes, looks like we had $20 in here. So let's make that accurate as well. So there's $20 in snack duty, saving for snacks when it is our turn to buy them and bring them to the different events. Okay, so legacy, we did already stuff 100 into curriculum, field trip, and triple a that's all stuff that needs to get restuffed let's look at these categories though okay so right after legacy mm -hmm. let's okay i had to turn my phone off it is blowing up so roth ira we're gonna put right after let's put it right before legacy i don't know why but to me that makes more sense so let's put Roth IRA and we are going to put $150 back into Roth IRA, IRA as long as we have it. Let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50. Here's where we do a little bit of a shuffle. Let's get 150 out of what's going to the bank, put some of those lower denominations. I bet we're about to do a lot of that as we get into these lower amounts and put 150 into Roth IRA. Okay, so curriculum, field trip, and triple A. Okay, so curriculum, I am going to say right now, let's go ahead and do away with curriculum. The person that I'm hiring to come teach the boys is a teacher. I don't, like she's a retired school teacher from the public school system. I don't think she intends on buying full curriculum sets like what I was doing. I think she will be creating her own curriculum. So we may make in the bills category we might make some kind of like teacher fees or increase what we are setting aside for her to cover some of her cost of materials but but we're basically we're just going to replace that curriculum with straight books in case she encourages different books for my kids on their reading level man i'm having a hard time getting this one out today doing away for with curriculum for now in case we see that we need it we are going to keep field trips and we are gonna keep triple A. So now that we know what categories we have, we are down to one binder currently. Let's go ahead and add in allowance. Now let's go through and see what we can kind of restuff into our different categories, right? First though, let's see what we have and maybe get rid of some of the smaller bills and get some of the, some of the bigger bills and get some of these smaller denominations to the bank. <laughs> So we have some bigger denominations to, to deal with now. All of this is going to the bank because we put placeholder money in its place. But we're also just getting rid of some of these smaller denominations. If that little money shuffle did not make sense to you, I'm so sorry. This is not something that we do often on my channel. It is just the way things are going right now. Normally the cash stuffings make a bit more sense. So check out some of the other videos if this one was confusing. I'm so sorry. Okay, so now let's just run through these really quick and stuff some of the things that did not get money put back into them. 100 envelope savings challenge is accurate. Re we restuffed that. Back to school. Let's go ahead and put, we're gonna set this to the side. All of this is going to the bank. I don't want it to be confusing. So let's just move that and see what we have to play with here. Okay, so back to school. Let's go ahead and put one, two, three, four. Let's put $14 into back to school so we can color this little backpack. 
$14 for back to school. And again, all we should need to buy for them is lunch boxes, backpacks, and some of the fun school supplies that they might want, some crayons and things. Happy birthday, we did stuff, what, 300 into that. Christmas, let's go ahead and put a 50 into Christmas. I will fill in the amount to save and each tree representing after we're done filming, but just to make it accurate, let's color in two little Christmas trees. I think we jumped right into this video without me even asking you guys, but I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. I hope that your Monday is starting off amazing. It has been wonderful weather here. I have just been so busy though. You guys know it's the 30th right now and I have to be completely moved out of the apartment tomorrow. So it's kind of been just crunch time because I have been moving everything out. Okay, so each phone is gonna represent $20. So let's put a 20 in and restart this phone savings. So it has just been very very, very busy here. So I apologize. I am behind on emails. I'm behind on answering you guys on Etsy. Luckily, my orders are all up to date and some of the, uh, most things are sort of on track, but definitely behind on emails and then questions that I'm getting over on Etsy. So sorry about that. If you are somebody that I haven't gotten back with, I'm so sorry. I will get back with you as soon as I can. But things will definitely slow down by Wednesday because Wednesday I will for sure be out of the apartment like for better or for worse I have to be out of the apartment <laughs> so I won't have the move going on in the background but I think I'm on track for videos and everything this week I'm on track for orders so everything is looking good I hope that things are going well for you guys as well so sports we're gonna go ahead and add 50 because why not I need to see if soccer signups are starting soon I guess that's the next sport my kid is gonna want to be in but I don't know if they start I feel like they start later right don't they start like winter time we will see so gifts we put 20 we put 20 in snack we filled Roth IRA we have the 150 we have 100 in legacy books let's go ahead and add 10 and i do think this is something we will be pulling from often just as they need it at least at the start of the school year so i guess we kind of have all summer i guess to to bulk this one up we have a lot of books of course uh but the, i know that the person who is coming in to teach my my kids their reading and their english subjects she asked me if they had books on their reading level and I told her, honestly, I have no idea what their reading level even is. It's not something that the school made me aware of when they were in public school. So I don't know. I, I think she has a test where she can kind of see what reading level they're on. And then she's going to recommend what books I should buy them that would be on their on their reading level that they shouldn't need help with, which would be amazing. I just have no idea what it is. So she is going to let me know what that is. So I wanna have this ready for her to recommend books and then for us to purchase books. Field trip, we will go ahead and add $50 here. Both of my boys will be homeschooling this year. So this is saving for little trips that we can make to the aquarium together or the zoo or somewhere fun. Allowance is still stuffed. The only thing left is AAA. So let's put $20 in here. And then we still have $50 left. So I'm actually going to backtrack to the category that is stressing me out the most, which would be birthday. I'm not quite sure how much their birthdays are going to cost me this year. So we do have 300 in the bank. Oh, we have two fifties left. Ooh, okay. Okay, so putting another placeholder in and bringing this 50 to the bank. We have $400 now in happy birthday. I don't know how much we had saved before, but $400 makes me feel a lot more comfortable because that is going to be the next big thing that comes up. So that is so exciting. So we are down to one sinking funds and savings challenge binder. Let's see how many categories we have. 15. So we have 15 categories in here. Once they start bulking up and I'm sure there's going to be a couple of categories we want to add. So we might go back to two binders pretty soon, but for now that fits barely. So that is it for this cash stuffing. I know it was a bit of a weirder pace. A weirder? Is that a word? I know it was a strange pace and sort of a strange cash stuffing. I hope you were able to keep up with it. We do have this money that is going to the bank only because we put placeholders in its place. So it will be nice to get this out of the house, but still have it accounted for with the placeholders. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. And as always, I will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.